Alright guys, welcome back to another video. At the moment we are in the Brecon Beacons. Hey guys, it's the next day now. Um, Dina's inside the van watching the coronation. Myself and Mally have had a lovely walk. Both got soaked through. She's in the van now. Mally, that is, with Dina. But look, just after that pan around I done, we got a notification or a couple of notifications come through on my phone that a motion or a person has been detected in your living room and motion detected in your living room. Now these notifications were 10 minutes apart, but they came through both at the same time, just as we we got to this spot. So of course I've, I've gone on to the, the app to view my CCTV, but the cameras were offline. They stayed offline for about half hour. We phoned our, um, our neighbor, the neighbor went and checked things out for us and said, everything's absolutely fine. Then the cameras come back online. We looked at the footage that's recorded. It records 24 hours a day. We looked at the footage and all I can say is it's weird. Right now, I am I sit on the fence when it comes to this type of stuff that I'm about to say. So the first notification person detected in your living room, living room is because that's what that camera's called. At that precise moment that it sent the screenshot including or the screenshot was just blank okay just of the living room but then when you view the video footage the camera flashes then it it's gone offline but the motion detected now this is where this is this is I, this is what I can't get my head around because I do sit on the fence about this sort of stuff. But we watched this tennis ball sized orb thing slowly float past the camera, but it was close enough to the camera that now the cameras the, the quality of them's you know absolutely fine. It wasn't at night time, so it was recording. Um, like in colour and it, it was quality recording but we watched this orb just float by if that's what it's called an orb it wasn't a moth it wasn't a fly that's what happened and I stopped recording yesterday because like I say it took about half hour for, for our cameras to come back online now at, as it stands at the moment because only because our neighbour has checked everything out and said that, look, mate, it's all good to go. You carry on with your, your breakaway, blah, blah, blah. It's only because he said everything's fine. Otherwise, we've just arrived. We were going straight back home. Now, last time we come to the Brecon Beacons, the clutch went on the van. This time we've got him. So, like, the first day we were actually in the actual Brecon Beacons, this happens, and we're thinking, we've got to go home again. But again, because neighbours, like, put our mind at ease we're, we're still here and it's the next day we had an amazing night last night and we kept looking at the cctv you know it was like no I'll tell you what leave it on one phone just leave the cctv on let's view that and it, 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 a bit of paranoia sets in do you know what i mean but anyway we had a good night and and it's the next day this was the trip that we we tried to do several months back when on and on the first night that we arrived just south of Brecon Beacons, um, Aberdare, the clutch went on the van. So we're now doing the trip. We've already been to Aberdare. We stayed on the campsite there. Um, if any of you follow my Instagram account, you you know, it's probably a good idea to follow that because you get sort of more or instant updates, let's say. But yeah, so we've that we're we're on that trip now and and we're going to go off and find different places to park up we'll stay on the odds or campsite fill up our um services and and do whatever you know clean the toilet out and stuff but but um yeah happy days let's crack on eh
we left this park up to go and do our full waterfall walk. I'm not going to show that walk in this video. I have done a separate video about the full waterfall walk and I will leave a link in the description to that video. As usual, when we turn up to these sort of park ups, we've got our doer, we, we've got our doer, we've got to do our usual litter duties. See the, the mother nudging it out yeah. of the road. That's the one that oh, stamped no. his feet at Mally earlier. <laughs> no, oh, it's going to come in. Yeah, you might have to move. <laughs> Mally, I think you've got to come in. I think you're going to get beaten up, mate. Right guys, well we're back at the next park up. It just happens to be the same park up that we we were at last night. The place we just visited had no internet and I do need the internet tonight. I've got some bits and pieces I need to do, but we've had a great day. Final thing I want to say is if you've not visited these waterfalls in the Brecon Beacons, it is a great day out. I'm surprised I made it to the end because it's the the hardest thing I've done since having the operations on my leg, and I thought I'd be in a lot more pain now. I'm okay, but I know tomorrow, or certainly for the next couple of days, I'm going to really suffer. I will say I'm using a new wireless lavalier mic at the moment, and I'm playing around with the settings. I've got to get it right. The wind's blowing. I could do with having a dead cat on it. I haven't got one, so I apologize. I've got the jackery out. The sun was just really beaming, but the clouds are coming in now. That's how quick the weather changes in the Brecon Beacons. So I've got to put this away, and I can just feel moisture now starting to hit me. But um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. Stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. All the best which is up that way about a mile, maybe a little bit less. I'll put the spelling on the screen because I know I've uh, not pronounced Glen Lear correctly. I'm staying paused so I can... <laughs> so, I, so I don't lose that spot. So editing stays nice and simple. I was frozen in time. Um, the reason we're not camped down at Glenlear.